So a few months ago, everybody knows a viral video going around that Little Caesars was exposed for having DiGiorno pizza at their restaurant, right? So here are some more things you guys didn't know. Who so ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy back again with another video for you guys. And today I am headed to Little Caesars. I have some information for you guys. I know a lot of people don't know, but I am going to inform you today. So today, Little Caesars is in the hot seat. We're going to head over there, grab some food, and I'm going to educate you guys today. All right. So I hope you guys are ready. Let's head over there now, guys. See you in a minute. All right, so I went ahead and uh, placed an order online. Little Caesars actually has a new hot and ready thing where you can place your order online, uh, go there with the code, and you don't even have to talk to anybody. Your food is ready. You put in the code, the fridge opens, and you pull your food out, and you go. No customer interaction whatsoever. So that's where we're headed nowadays is fully automated services. Uh, you know, on one side is great because uh, you can get in, get out. You know, you have to worry about the traffic, the long lines. It's, the downside to it is you start to see less people working because the computers are starting to take their job. So, you know, there's always a plus or minus to growth, right? So uh, you win some, you lose some. It is definitely a tough situation, uh, you know, but... People still gotta remember there have to be people to fix those computers. There has to be people to make that food to be ready based on that computer. So there's still jobs available, guys. You know, don't lose hope. Uh, but I did go ahead and get my food or whatever. I just ordered a, a, a pizza. And the funny part about it is it's still $5. So Little Caesars has a, a, a bunch of new uh, foods that they've uh, come out with, a bunch of different pizzas that they're uh, coming out with but they still remain the same with the $5 deal, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys the pizza real quick, just let you guys see how fresh my food is. I put in my time and it was ready, man. So check it out. Now, the funny part about this is, if you are, let's say you place an order, right? And you place your order for 11 o'clock. If you get there 30 minutes late, your code's not gonna work. It's not going to allow you to get your food because the computer saying you're 30 minutes past your time, your food is not ready. It's not fresh anymore, uh, and they won't allow you to get it. So it, it requires a manager or somebody to come out, cancel the order, open it up, rescan it. Uh, so what it does is say, hey, if you're not, if you want us to be on time, you need to be on time. So I'm kind of cool with that. You know what I mean? Because the inconvenience of having to wait. It's gonna make people say, you know what, let me be on time or let me not order this until I know I can get it. So, shout out to Little Caesars for that. Uh, great way to compromise. Uh, also, uh, you know, the funny thing is that Little Caesars has been around so long. And, and as popular as we know certain things are, there was a time frame where Little Caesars, you didn't really see them like that. You didn't really see the commercials like that. Uh, I would say maybe 10 to 15 years ago, you didn't really see it like that. It was kind of when Papa John's came out, right? Papa John's was all over the all over the TV. You know what I mean? Uh, Pizza Hut was all over the TV. But I think they made a lot of people step up. Domino's had to had kind of stayed away from the TV a lot, but then they blew up all the TV. And then Little Caesars came and took over again. Uh, so I think the, the the friendly competition is always helpful, you know, in business. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and dive in on my food. But as I do, I also want to let you guys know a few secrets about Little Caesars that you may not know. Okay? Huh. I always like that pizza, you know? So, if you 
guy. A few secrets that you didn't know, okay? Now, if you go on their website, you know, in the history, it tells you about the founder. Um, uh, Mike, I think it's Mike Illich. I could be saying that wrong. If I am, forgive me, Mike. Um, him and his uh, and his wife basically co-founded it together, uh, which is good. You know what I mean? When you can come together and do things like that. And they're still together. Um, they're still alive. They're still married. Uh, right now, I guess they're saying his net worth is between five and six billion dollars. Um, but what you didn't know, based on what they don't say on uh, the actual website, uh, is that Mike actually played in the minor leagues. So he was actually an active minor league player, and then he purchased, uh, he put his money into the first restaurant of course they're like oh you know they put their life savings together and came out which can still be true uh but what they didn't mention is he was a minor league baseball player at the time so he had certain connections and it was easier to you know let's say get things started so to speak um secondly what i will say is is the good thing about uh mike's story is uh even though he franchised out and uh has restaurants all over the world uh he never left detroit you know the the headquarters is in detroit it was the old fox theater by the way uh which is still the headquarters today so shout out to him because i know detroit was going through a lot of things for for a long period of time uh especially when it came down to uh jobs and employment uh recession they, they were doing pretty bad but mike mike's still strong over there so shout out to little caesars for that um but another thing is uh, Mike and his wife uh, didn't meet uh, just on random, okay? Uh, they actually were set up on a blind date by his dad. Uh, and within a couple months, they were married. So a lot of people see that happen a lot in other countries. Uh, India, uh, you know, different, different Middle Eastern countries, they arrange marriage or arrange dates. Um... Uh, but back in the days, they, you know, the parents had a lot to do with who you dated and who you married. You know what I mean? So, uh, the good thing is, in a lot of those marriages and relationships, the parents had uh, had some good taste, man. Because, like I said, Mike, Mike is now, I think he's like 86 or so. And his wife is 82. So, they've been married for, for years. Uh so, you know, it became wonderful business partners as well and have kids that help with the business as well. So, uh, you know, kudos to them, right? So also, so while I'm giving y'all all this information, so Mike didn't want to call Little Caesars, Little Caesars. He wanted to call it Pizza Tree. But his wife was like, nah, I like Little Caesars. So, like most men, at the end of the day, you go listen to your wife, right? Happy wife, happy life. So, that's what he did. Named a little at first he named a little Caesar's pizza tree. You know, trying to compromise a little bit. See if the name would stick, but she was like, nah, cut that off. Little Caesars. So So a lot of people may know that, but what they didn't know was that Little Caesar was a nickname that his wife gave him. tell nobody why but if anybody know the history of Caesar look it up won't be hard to figure out okay so something to keep in mind also you know how they came out with that uh 
But they got a guy now with the slogan who was actually dressed like Little Caesar. <laughs> uh, his slogan, Pizza Pizza. A lot of people don't know. They came out with that slogan uh, what, about 30, I think about 30 years ago or so. Was it close to 30 or something like that? Where they were doing a, uh, like basically a buy one get one free type of deal on their pizza because the competitors started coming out with pizza they were like you know what we're going to charge you for what you pay for one of their pizzas we're going to give you two of ours so they called it pizza pizza the funny thing is it stuck so well that they turned it into the main slogan pizza pizza it's crazy how something so simple can become so popular you know, another side story to that is they're not allowed to use Pizza Pizza in Canada because there's already a restaurant in Canada called Pizza Pizza. So, with the chains that they have in Canada, they have to say uh, quality, quality, or delivery, delivery, you know, to, to still say the same thing. So, a lot of things y'all didn't know, man. You know what else is funny that a lot of people don't know? Is that they're the, th the third largest chain. The third largest pizza chain in the world behind Domino's and Pizza Hut. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people are like, really? Little Caesar's? Yes. Little Caesar's is the third largest pizza chain in the world. That, I guarantee a lot of people don't know. That surprised me off top, right? But that's not all. Little Caesars is the number one. When I say number one, they're the number one carry out pizza chain in the United States. I'm just I'm just saying, man, a lot of this stuff you don't know because you're like, that little Caesars kind of under the radar a little bit, right? <laughs> they out here handling business. So shout out to Little Caesars for that, man. Y'all doing your thing. Well, give me all, all, all the scoop right now. You know what I'm saying? All the scoop. So you know how you'll see Papa John's all over the uh, Super Bowl. You know, Pizza Hut trying to do their thing. The basketball, NBA. So does Domino's. But, like, man, what little seasons? Huh. Let me tell you something. Those competitors don't actually have any major holdings though besides you know the pizza company things like that a few stocks here and there little caesars owns the detroit the detroit tigers which is a baseball team remember i told you he was in the minor leagues when he started so he kept his connection i knew he would and the uh the hockey team i think it's the hockey team He owns them too in Detroit. So he, he he's he doing his thing, man. You know what I mean? Shout out, shout out to Mike Illich, man. He's doing his thing. Him and his wife. Shout out to Little Caesars. You know, definitely been doing their thing over the years. They've been around for 60 years now. Doing their thing, man. You know what I mean? Doing their thing. Same owners. Doing their thing. You know what I mean? Uh, so shout out to them. Shout out to them for the pizza. Delicious. It is reasonable. You get a this piece of five dollars, man. How many places you can still go to and get a piece of five dollars? Even Domino's, Domino's, them try to compete with their five ninety nine pizza. Guess what? Still ain't five dollars. Papa John's same thing. They had to go seven ninety nine. You know what I mean? Whatever. Shout out to Little Caesars. Give y'all this last tip. This last secret that I found out. Little Caesars used to sell more than just pizza. <laughs> Little Caesars, when they first opened in, in Detroit back in the 50s, they sold pizza, spaghetti, shrimp, seafood, hot dogs. They sold everything. 
guess what? They still there today. I tell you, man, it's nothing like the originality doing your own thing. But you come out as a pizza place that sells everything. Shout out to Little Caesars, man. Y'all did your thing. Shout out to you, my grub levels. Now you guys are just as educated as I am. So I'm going to go ahead, finish up my food. I'll get with you guys next time, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below if you know any more secrets that I don't know. School me. Get at you guys next time, man. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.